Aries, welcome to 2023 April. What a month it's going to be for you, particularly when it comes to financial and home matters with both your Lord Mars doing some really interesting things in the home real estate private life sector, as well as an eclipse in the sign of you. We're going to touch on all of that as we go ahead and talk about some of the dates to look for in this month ahead. Before we get started, if you're new to my channel, I am Lori Lothi and I'm a whole sign house Hellenistic astrologer. I'm using the Western Tropical Zodiac. I love asteroids. I'm a junkie. Check out below my free asteroid course might interest you. It's amazingly, uh, once you go down the rabbit hole, you never come back. And I got a lot of stuff in my description box. You know, courses, I'm teaching Sky Reader, eight week course, be your own astrologer, time your best life and all of that more information in the description box below that class will start in the second or third week of april so depending on when you're listening to this you might be able to jump aboard that learning let's get going and talk about how your month will go during the month of april so first of all what i'd like to say is that this is a month in which most of the action in the sky is happening in three of your houses houses 12 houses 2 and houses 4. this means for aries rising in particular things to do with house 2 which is about money is going to earnings money and possessions is going to take the highlight for you it's going to be on the top of your interest list and change list at the same time you're going to have some action going through the 12th house and the fourth and those are doing your getting rid of your self undoing addictions and bad habits or how you can generate revenue from short foreign shores and foreign lands and your fourth house is really about your home it's like what you're doing at home in your private life uh, are you constructing a home decorating a home renovating a home changing your home or arguing in your home some of these things will be true let's go into the why and then into the timeline um, and every every one of these videos is different i'm focusing on the highlights of the month ahead for each sign i do do whole videos on things like eclipses here so you can get much more detail on those by going to subscribe and like and hit that bell for notification now you know mercury is going to move this month into the sign of taurus on april the 3rd and be there until june the 11th this is an incredibly long wealth transit for you it simply means that mercury the god of commerce marketing messaging communication um markets is busy in your second house of earnings and possessions certainly you can be selling things or um, making more money through um, co commercial activity when mercury is in your second house and you may sell some possessions or even buy some new possessions but mercury would be here for so long april 3rd to june 11th is worth noting and that's because of a retrograde on april the 21st to may 14th given there's a retrograde in here as well which we'll do a whole video on you'll have to pull back some of the energy in the last 10 days of april on things that you thought were going to go full steam ahead forward especially when it comes to earnings monies and um, ways to make money through selling or marketing it's really good for you Aries if you want to launch a product or sell something to the audience or marketplace or get something out there or negotiate even a raise perhaps for your work anytime in the first three weeks of April before Mercury heads into retrogradation the last 10 days of April can bring a job from your past back or some money from your past back to you or even an old possession can come back now Venus the goddess of love art and beauty is in the sign of Taurus her home sign in your money house blessing you there so I suggest that April the 3rd through to April the 11th while you have Venus in your second house and you also have Mercury is a really good time for some positive money developments news and activities but then Venus will move on April 11th to May the 7th by the way into the next sign which is Gemini for you that's going to be a Venus transit through your third house it's definitely good for sister activities siblings activities uh, trips and travel for enjoyment and leisure it's really good for getting uh, popular appeal and the online world because the third house is our virtual and our real neighborhood but it's also good for enjoying the restaurants and the pubs and the company of people you enjoy in your local neighborhood venus rules pleasures and enjoyment she's happy socializing she's very social in gemini for a lot of aries sun moon and rising you're just getting more out and about and enjoying yourself it's just so simple um why not right i think i'll be doing that for sure i have an aries sun and an aries moon Mars is the Lord of your sign. He's your ruling planet. We're going to talk about Mars in the sense that 
Mars is going to be moving through Cancer and is going to do that from March the 25th. So as we start April, he's there through to May the 20th. That six week transit is in your fourth house. Now this happens every two years, so it's nothing new, but you might want to go back and start tracking those two year periods because Mars here is going to make change of direction or change of momentum or change of mind or change of activity in your home, from your home, about your home. Property, land and real estate are included as well as rentals. What are you doing that's changing it up? this month of April. Be careful for fights in the home. Mars is out of detriment. He's in the sign of his fall. Sometimes that can look like arguments in the home, conflict, fighting, disagreements with somebody that you are living with. So just be aware of that. It's not necessarily going to play out that way, but you know, you don't want to have mortal combat in your house. And with Mars in the sign of cancer, it can definitely be more passive aggressive, you know, or the silent treatment or, you know, weird sideways anger stuff. So be cautious with that. How can you harness that transit and avoid that? Um, do act, a lot of activities at home, in the home, exercise at home, in the home, construct or renovate the home, at home, in the home. I'm going to jump ahead a little bit and just talk about your end of the month because at the very end of the month, yay you, your Lord will sextile Uranus. Mars in the fourth house of home, sextiling Uranus in the second house of money is a jolt of good energy around money and resources, money and property, property and finances. Something you're doing at home could be, yay, in the last, what? Did I give you the dates at the end of the month? March 28th to the 30th, finishing strong. I mean, April 28th to the 30th. Oh my gosh, finishing strong with some kind of positive financial, maybe surprise um, that's going to impact your, your home life and also your finances. So many ways that can work. I'm not going to try to guess all of them, but it's a really sweet m month end courtesy of Mars, your Lord. Now, the big news for you, and I'm only doing the eclipse for you, not the other signs, maybe for Libra as well, but because I'll do a whole video on it, but you're having an eclipse. It's called a partial eclipse. It's because there's an eclipse on the 20th of April with the sun being totally eclipsed at 29 degrees of the sign of Aries, conjunct Jupiter. Yes, Jupiter's been there for a while, bringing you luck, but now the luck god is eclipsed, uh-oh, on the 20th of, April, of April. Well, the node of fate, the north node, is still in your second house of earnings. It's a tough mix-up of an eclipse. It can involve both money and your sense of self. You may have an opportunity, but it also may be an eclipsing of an opportunity. Jupiter opportunity, growth, expansion, wealth, but he's within the eclipse energy. Now, don't expect April 20th to be any one thing. This can play out up to two weeks before, up to six months after. It's a change of energy regarding your identity and sense of self and your connection to your earnings path. It may be that you will let go of some sort of opportunity way of being. Are you a teacher, guide, mentor, instructor, guru, Jupiter in the first house? and change your style of earnings in regards to those endeavors. Because Jupiter's eclipsed, you may be pushing back from some sense of how you make money by being you. And that will take up to six months for you Aries to uncover, discover, and unfold. But because it's a solar eclipse, it will happen with or without your permission. It's going to be a change, a new beginning, a new direction, okay? In money, earnings, and sense of self. Now, couple of other highlights this month for you um, and just please subscribe to the channel if you really want to get all of these things I'm about to talk about in greater depth and also check out my Patreon community because there you're going to get all my content ad free five bucks a month with with you know early early access before the general public but anyway enough of my sales pitching <laughs> April is going to also bring up a time that I think might interest you and that is the very lucky super juicy Jupiter conjunct the sun or quite properly, the sun conjunct Jupiter. This happens once a year. And it is extremely fortunate because Jupiter, a benefic Santa Claus, all right, is having solar light shine through him and it expands his own goodness on the day of what's called the Kazemi. Now, to be clear, before that, he's invisible. Yes, Jupiter is invisible. I'll be doing a video on that from the very end of the month of March through to the very beginning of the month of May. So except for this one day, this one beautiful day on April the 11th, it's kind of like Jupiter's off duty but you can expect something good on that day and you can plan for it. Like you could do something like launch a course that day or buy a car that day or, you know, meet someone on a first date that, that day. It's called an election. You're baking in a Jupiter sun 
auspicious goodness. So this energy is happening April the 11th, where? In the house of you at 21 degrees of Aries. You are the one who gets to shine brightly and luckily into the world. If you're like me and a YouTuber, I'll probably try to like launch a big video that day because it will maybe go viral or do really well. So you can use it proactively, but that Kazemi or or Jupiter-Sun conjunction happening on April the 11th is just a blessing. It's lucky. You are lucky because it's in the house of you. So where is the luck? You are lucky. You are magnificent. You are expansive. You are leaderful. You are extra juicy on that day. Um, Venus will square Saturn later on. Not everyone's getting the same content, mind you. Um, I might back it up just a bit for you. April 7th to the 10th. Look for a lot of activity going on between Mercury in Taurus and Mars, your Lord, in Cancer. That's news, information around April 7th to 10th, communications about home and money, money and finances, etc. And then later on, you might find something going on or at the same time, the 7th and 10th to April with Venus sextiling Neptune. Neptune's in your house of addictions. Venus is the goddess of pleasure in the house of what you put in your mouth. There's flow between Venus and Neptune, for example. So things to do with finances from foreign lands or re- uh, relieving yourself of food or drink or something you shouldn't ingest to help alleviate self undoing, self bad habits, addictions. And I mean everything from too much haagen or gluten all the way down to like the bad thing you shouldn't be doing with a drug or um, an intoxicant. So you can have a nice healing vibe, a nice flow, a nice sweetness, April 7th to 10th. So you can expect something good for financially and in the other way I just told you about. Um, Then later on, on the 15th, 14th or so of the month, Venus will square Saturn. Now, Venus is a benefic planet. When she squares Saturn, it's not always the end of the world. People are like, oh no, a square. It's okay. It's this is a tension angle, but it's not the end of the world. All right, just take a chill pill, everybody. So the 14th and 15th of the month, by that point, Venus has moved on into Gemini and Saturn is sitting, um, you know, or, or sitting, is oh yeah, sitting, he's moving slowly through the sign of your 12th house through the sign of um, Pisces. Now, Saturn in the 12th can be something to do with constriction, restraint, isolation, um, or something to do with somebody in a hospital or in a mental institution or incarceration. I don't think that's you being incarcerated, but that story could look like something like something going on at that time of the month where Venus of Benefic is trying to bring something good from the house of siblings, from the house of aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, and cousins, and also trips and travel, leisure especially, or, or short based trips and travel to the Saturn the 12th. Now, look, you could be planning a trip to go to a foreign land, foreign shores, far off lands, and that could be what that's about because that's also 12th house, but there's some kind of constriction or difficulty. Or you may want to travel to see a sibling or vice versa, and there's some kind of hold up. So look for a little bit of a glitch in that part of the story around the 14th and 15th of the month. As we move to the end of the month and you get further and further out, you're going to have a little bit of action from the 23rd to the 27th of April that involves some planets uh, sort of doing things all at once. Everything all at once, right? That movie is like happening all at once, Aries. First of all, Mercury will sextile Mars. At the same time, the sun is sextiling, sextiling Saturn. Mercury is in Taurus. Where is that? That's your second house, your second house of earnings and possessions. And, I, you know, don't forget, he's there until June 11th. So this is a long Mercury story. But at this point on the 23rd of the month, he is gone retrograde. So we have a retrograde Mercury, April 23rd. So we're going back over something to do with money or possessions or earnings or selling or marketing. And he's in a flow or a harmony or good relationship to Mars in the house of your home. If you're going to make money or get an old job back or work from home or create something from your home or get money to repair a home, it could be some money from the past coming back at you or getting money from a methodology or way you've done it before. For example, my Sky Reader course will probably be starting then, or maybe I'll be launching then, and maybe have something to do with like the money coming back. I won't launch that course <laughs> while Mercury's retrograde, though, that's April 21st. I mean, I won't like sell it to you guys <laughs> as an Aries, but I might actually be in the middle of teaching it and Mercury will study and I could be that could be just indicative of me teaching the course again. Um, but proactively for each of you, um, some communications from people from your past relating to money and home issues could be coming up between the 23rd and 27th and the sun in Taurus which is also your earnings house sex telling Saturn in your 12th house more money coming from foreign shores barter trade revenue PayPal Stripe accounts or some kind of communication going on around your resources and money as it connects to foreign lands and foreign shores or maybe getting a real handle on some kind of 
mm, food style problem or addiction because again the second house where the sun is is definitely just like mercury uh, connected to things that you put in your mouth things that you eat things that you ingest saturn is like discipline you're going to be disciplined on that keto diet disciplined on that you know one glass of wine a week diet or whatever it is that you're going to do <laughs> All right. So like I can tell you guys, I could use that once a week diet because I have a hard time quitting wine. Love my wine. Everyone who knows my channel knows I love my wine. But, you know, I've been tapering down and, you know, on and off. I keep taking like chunks of time off wine. All right. Anything else to say? Nope. That's it. Aries, it's a big month for you. That eclipse is the big deal for you for sure. It's the beginning of an eclipse cycle that's going to run through actually till the last eclipse, eclipse in partial eclipse in the spring of 25 in your sign. There's one every spring, 24, 3, 24, 25. So you guys need to pay attention to the eclipses. You might want to check my um, videos on my big 2023 playlist that talk about the North Node in Aries for yourself. And all that information is you know, on my channel in playlists, like the 2023 big playlists. Okay. Who I did us and Aries are the ones who watch the least of these. If you look at my every single month that I put the all signs videos out, you'll get like Libra 7,000 views and you'll get Aries 1,000, 2,000. Aries don't like to be told what to do. That's my theory anyway. <laughs> Thanks Aries. Ciao, ciao.